What's up, everybody? Jay-Z here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day. This is 2020 Bowman Jumbo 8-box case break. Random teams. Numero dos. And again, we have an early bird uh, spot giveaway here. Uh, we have four combo teams. D-backs, Cardinals, Phillies, Twins, Pirates, Mariners, Giants, Rockies. Again, early bird. All you have to do is buy one of the first 16 spots on this break to get entered to win a free spot. Just know no paper-based ships. All chrome cards, number cards, enter, short prints, and hits will ship. And then all paper base is sold by us, and then we donate it to 100% of the sale to a charity. And again, I think the only two paper-based cards we are shipping is Bobby Wood Jr. and Jason Dominguez to the respectful customers that get them in a randomizer or pay for them in a picker team. So good luck. Here's the dice roller. Customer names for the early bird. Here's the customers here in the break itself. And here are the combo teams list. Same dice roller here for all randomizers. Three and three, six times. Good luck. Boom. Boom. Number one gets a free spot. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six times. Michael, A, numero uno, congratulations. Free spot for you. No plus sign. Now let's go six times here on the names and teams. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Six times. Proust down to Ryan. Six times here. Teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pirates Mariners combo down to the Detroit Tigers. Proves you have the Pirates Mariners. Matthew S with the Angels. Jamie of the Nationals. Charles with the Rockies Giants combo. Michael, your free spot. You got the Cubs. Ryan with the Orioles. And Oliver, congratulations. You just got the Yankees. Steven with the White Sox, Rick K with the uh, Indians, Eric K with the Rays, John Hango with the A's, Jeremy Tillman with the Dodgers, Ryan with the Astros, Ron with the Blue Jays, Shackleton with the Braves, Ray with the Mets, Zach Sorensen with the Roos, Jeremy of the Texas Rangers, Adam with the Royals, Last Spot Mojo, Dylan with the Reds, Ryan with the Padres, as well as the Twins Phillies combo, Matthew with the Red Sox, Michael, you have the D backs Cardinals, Chance with the Marlins, and Ryan, you have the Detroit Tigers. So I'll give you guys a couple minutes for trades, proposed trades. Uh, and if not, when I put in TWC in the chat, guys, the trade window is closed. I will not accept anything after I put that in the chat. And then, of course, I'm going to start ripping this open. Zach saying if anybody wants Milwaukee. I think we hit some ones, but obviously no Wit or Dominguez. I think there's a lot of good teams that had some good stuff, but I mean, I don't know. I guess what is considered big for you, Joe? I think you know more prospects than I do.
All right, so Zach, are you agreeing to that trade for the combo team with Proust? Let me know confirmed. That way I know that that's a for sure thing. All right, and you're good with that, Proust? All right, cool. All right, we got one trade window confirmed, or trades confirmed. All right, so we pulled off a trade. Wow. Shocking. I feel like not many people trade anymore. Or at least accept the trade. All right, so after I rip this last pack, I'm closing the trade window. So, uh, Zach is trading for the combo. Oh, sorry. Zach's trading for the combo team. Proves you're trading for the Brewers. So, there you go, guys. One confirmed trade. That's a trade right there. Oh, what the hell? I made a copy of it. All right, trade window closed, guys. You're right, actually, Big Rig. Yeah, Dodgers did hit pretty well. Got that Dustin made a 75 that looked like a gold, and then that Lux. So, yeah. And I feel like there was good Ranger props they got us, right? Rays. Confirm trade. All right, two boxes right here, guys. Guys, after this, we're switching over to Jumbo Picker Teams 1 and 2, then to Hobby Random Teams, and then after that, Picker Team number 3, and then I should be done with my shift. And then Joe will take over. Paper, Trent Grisham.
Reverse for the Mets. Zenor. However he pronounces it, sorry. Uh, Mets with that one, that's Ray Phillips. Caveo to two ninety nine is first for the Yankees. Cody Wel a uh, Colton Welker to fifty gold shimmer for the Rockies. An autograph here. First for the Padres. Patino. Padres. That's Ryan. Oh, we should have one more autograph in here, right? He's a good player, Joe Pizzle. Nice. And wow, another one. This time to four ninety nine. There you go, Ryan. The refractor. Already can start a rainbow. Now we just need to get you all the other variations. Future starting rotation for the Padres, really? What the hell, man? There we go. Luis Robert, prospect to four ninety nine. So how is uh how's it been over there in AZ, Joe Pizzo? Is everything kind of starting to open up again? Although I did see what happened on the news. It's crazy. I know you're probably a little bit more where my in-law is, but pretty crazy what happened the other day. Delgado for the White Sox. My in-laws get the keys to their house on June 5th, so I'll probably make a trip over there. I think it obviously kind of, I think it hurts when you're not getting it right, Sean. <laughs> if you're not the person that gets, gets the two prospects in the same box, then you're kind of mad. But I mean, it is what it is, right? It just happens. I mean, who knows though, right? That that might be the only two autographs of him in this whole case, right? So. And a Sam Huff to 250 purple. Dominguez. Oh, wait, Sean, you know what? I just reread your question again. Are you talking about Luis Robert, right? How he's in a prospect and then he has a rookie card? Yeah, that's a little weird. 
Sorry, I thought you meant to say, like, if the card came out twice in the same box, how do I feel about that? Yeah, it's a little weird. I think they ru they probably rushed Robert in, into this. Sorry. And wow, man, that would have been crazy if that was a freaking Jason Dominguez. Anthony Villope. To 299. Bones first for the Yankees. Yeah, I feel like with all this Dominguez hype, there's a lot of other good rookies or prospects in the Yankees, right, that are probably not going to be talked about as much unless you know baseball and prospects. Hunter Green, man, I feel like this guy's been around for so long already. <laughs> I know, right, Josh? Yeah, after a while, he's going to stop signing like that because it's just going to be too much. So maybe it makes his first autographs more rare. All right, next two.
Alright, that's two boxes. Rutledge. Washington Nationals. Bowman's first. Going to Jamie. Yeah, I actually was looking at select photo galleries last night, Matthew. And man, that shit looks beautiful. It just reminds me of select football and, and basketball. But I feel like with Bowman, it's just... Bowman's in its own league. But I'm sure we'll still do a handful of select today and tomorrow. And over the weekend. So... Will still be solid. Casey Mize. Joey Bart to four ninety nine. And this is the first time they actually released Select in I don't know how many years as its own product. We got Logan Allen rookie Atomic Cleveland going to Rick K. Uh, yes, Chronicle selecting was in Chronicles. I don't think it was this year because it's its own release, but or will be this year. But it used to be, I remember correctly. The one that they need to do also to his release is on its own as Spectra. I think Spectra Baseball would do pretty well as its own product. Sam Huff, a little like Aqua Shimmer to 125. I'm sure there's a right name for that, but that's what I'll call it for now. And for the Mets. Tony uh, Dibrell, Bowman's first gold. Mets going to Ray Phillips. Atomic here of Christian Robinson. paper all right next box guys
has the autograph, Adam Hall. And a little Jason Dominguez here as well. Uh, Orioles going to Ryan. And then a Yankees Dominguez little refractor. Dominican Republic going to Oliver. And Jacob Amaya, Bowman's first refractor for the Dodgers, going to Jeremy Tillman. Jason Dominguez, top 100 scouts, prospects. We got Mendoza. To 150 for the Nationals. Mateo. To going to Ryan Grant Little, Padres off to a great start. Uh, I think I pulled that Davis guy from the Cubs. I don't know if I pulled him in this box already, or this break, but I think I pulled him in the last one. Yeah, it must have been in the last one. All right, next one, guys. Hey, what's up, Arthur? How's it going, man? I know, I really wanted to... Well, I don't know if you've seen the break, but... I'm assuming you did. I really wanted to get you an auto, but you got, like, a lot of paper and a lot of chrome, which... I think at the end of the day, you're going to pay for your spot and much, much more. Especially if the papers are going for like 50 bucks right now. Between 30 and 50. <laughs> I 
Sign up, man. Share some paper love. What up, Curtis? No problem, man. It's all good. Uh, Jumbo just has three autographs. And I believe Hobby only has one. Oh, even better. There you go, Arthur. But yeah, just pretty much Jumbo has three autographs. And I think Hobby only has one. So, people like the Jumbo because of that. Although, I feel like there's a good conspiracy of like people saying that only the good autos come out of Hobby. Which I don't think that's true, obviously. But, I don't know. Uh, they're chasing the Bowman's first autographs. But yes, even the base and, and uh, more the chrome. The chrome first and stuff. This is more of a prospect product. You do have rookies in here, though, but... You're chasing all the prospects, really. Because at the end of the day, if, like, they turn out to be a superstar like Mike Trout, you know? I don't know if you guys seen, but that red out of five Mike Trout 9, 5, 10 sold for, like, almost $100,000 or almost a million dollars. It broke the previous record of that Jordan LeBron. So, you know, obviously, people want the color. And this will be their first official autograph in a MLB uniform. guys next one Dominguez Nate Pearson We got an atomic first of Damon Jones to 100 for the Phillies. Very nice. And that's Ryan with the Phillies twins combo. There you go. A little, little Philly for you, Ryan. Out there in the Philly area. Gavin Lux. to 150 for Max Scherzer in the Nationals. Dominguez Chrome. What is this? Is this an autograph? Oh my god. This is definitely going to be for the worst I've ever seen. Mario Feliciano. And it's a trade mojo. Jesus. Ugh. Was he just like... The whole time? Just like that? Oh my god. 
I don't even have a good autograph, and I think mine is better than this. Jesus. All right, there you go. Ruiz looks a little better than this. <laughs> Honestly, I'd take Ruiz over that one. This guy's autograph is like all the way up to the top up here. Like he went one, like an N, and then up here, and then like connected. Oh man, that's rough. See, my thing is that like, you know, you could probably increase the value of yourself just by having a great auto. That people are just not even gonna want to buy him because of just his autograph. Jordan Adams, and I'm sorry, Feliciano, for saying that, but come on, man. No redemptions yet, Eddie. Who's a redemption? Are we looking for Jason Dominguez? Is he a redemption? I don't think so, is he? Tim Kate. Oh, that's right. You guys see that? What's up, David? That's right. You guys can judge my autograph. It's very horrible. My wife hates it, but honestly, I think mine is a little bit better than that one. First of uh, Valera to two ninety nine. Yeah, did you guys see that? Isn't that cool? Upper Deck wanted us to like to sign the tin, me and the customer John that that pulled it. So when we displayed it here in our store before it was sent off to Leland's. That was kind of cool. And that, that is the exact tin that it came from. So even kind of cooler story to it, right? They were like, hey, you want to autograph? I'm like, oh, do you want me to autograph this? I mean, it's crazy. I believe mine is at the top. It like starts with a J, but I think his starts with a J too. His name's John. It's not the best one, though. I'm sure his is way better than mine still. I believe I think I signed the top of it. I have to look at the listing again. Mine is kind of just like a starting of a cursive J and then like a C and then like like that. So, I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing special. It's probably pretty horrible to a lot of people, but... Eh, it is what it is, right? <laughs> Alan. Our next box, guys. Yeah, you want to see one of the most fire hits we got, Rebel? Look at this. Feliciano autograph for the Brewers. Amazing. Definitely the best hit so far. Uh, Everson Perea to 499 first. Groshans. Yeah, no no color of that guy yet for the athletics is Pusan. Pausan? Is that how you pronounce it? I know he's a big prospect too. Man, here's like his paper base and stuff, but. Let's jump in this stuff. This 
say should have at least like two autos, right? De La Cruz for Atlanta. Ryan with the Braves. Uh, this is random team number two. Uh, pick your team number one and two will be coming up after this. And also, for everybody just coming in and tuning in, here's the uh, here's the break schedule in the show notes. Um, I'll probably get done with all of them. So I know Joe has one scheduled for him to start at two, but I'll probably get done with that an hour before he gets here. So I'll probably be able to start that. And by the time he gets here, it should be almost done. Kyle Lewis, purple color, rookie base. And we got for the Dodgers first blue, Omar Estevez. There you go, Dodgers, Jeremy Tillman. Dominguez paper. Last two boxes, guys. Good luck. Did I also hear... Was that you, Rex, yesterday? Did I also hear someone say that there's booklets in these Bowman this year? I feel like I've never seen booklets. I thought someone mentioned it. I thought it was you, Rex. I haven't even looked at the check with myself to open it. How many player booklets are there? Is it just like the rookies only? Is it prospects only? Is it a mixture? That sounds kind of weird. Book on the check. Uh, oh, that's cool. Some different, right? Cool, we do pull one at some point today, right? I think so too, Josh. I mean, anything Bowman rookies should sell well, right? Let's hope for one of those. My thing is that do they have Robert like prospect autographs too, or is it just a base where they have prospect and then rookie? That was my thing earlier since I've seen them on both so far. It's just rookie. All right, cool. That's good.
Uh, Manny, if you go to our website, it looks like we do have more random teams, but I don't think of Jumbo. I think we only have another random team of Hobby. I'm sure we'll post up more. Uh, just, you know, just like as it says in one of the announcement pages on Bowman. You know, Tops has sent out a note saying that they were going to try to get everything out this week, of course, by today, to distributors and to hobby shops, but that maybe 50% may be held back until later next week. So, you know, just like we warn everybody, if you buy into a break, your break could be pushed until a couple more days later. You know, so just let FYI on that. So we're hoping to get our big allotment of cases that we got that are scheduled to be delivered today. But as you can see with UPS as of lately, they've been super, super slammed in our area. So even though it says Alfred delivery today, it could still come tomorrow or who knows. So I think we have enough cases though coming or here already to pretty much fill up the whole day today. So hopefully, you know, if we get the rest of our stuff today as we should, then we should be fine for the whole weekend and for personals and everything. But I'm sure the reason why we haven't posted more jumbo random teams every time like that's because we want to make sure that we have enough to break for today and the weekend. Nice, Ryan. You got one of those? That's awesome. Sweet, sweet pickup. All right, guys. Last two boxes right here. Good luck. And we got Gold Shimmer, Thomas Diller to 50 for the Bra uh, Brewers. Josh Pruz, little trade mojo. Much better than the other guy. I've been waiting on some stuff for Panini too, honestly. I submitted a Miles Sanders uh, RPA from um, Optic back in January and I still haven't got any notifications of that being sold and sent out. And then I just put one in about a month ago for the ticket stub of Miles from Contenders. I know those are, I know those are live already, so I'm hoping to get that too. Bryce Ball to four ninety nine for the Braves. Yeah, I just think it's the hardcore like rainbow collectors of Bowman. They're like, oh man, you have to add a shimmer to this now. You know, like now I I don't like the shimmers. I only like the solid color, and there's just people like that. Yeah, I mean, I think I think they've all always taken a little bit longer, but yeah, definitely with COVID and everything, it just kind of slowed everything down. So it's understandable. I mean, as long as I get it, I don't mind waiting. I'm not in the in the market of selling my Miles Sanders stuff as of yet, so I'm more collecting them. So as long as I get it, though, I'm happy. Pins to 150. Robert to 55. Yeah, there's always a product out there that people just don't like. And honestly, some people are really, a lot of people actually are probably dreading Bowman today because they realize that this is all we break all day, all weekend, because it's so heavy base that it takes up like an hour at least for a jumbo, you know, Jason Dominguez, and Hobby about an hour and a half, hour and thirty, hour and fifteen minutes. So people hate that ish, right? <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, where's the flawless when you need it? Like, oh, that's only like a fifteen minute break, and we can get through like, you know, ten of those in the time of like one hobby or one jumbo. But you know, obviously. Bowman is just still king, and it's going to be for a long time. So I always look forward to it. Don't get me wrong. I love breaking the flawless and stuff like that, but I'm chilling with this. 
Yeah, it's just no, it's just a lot of money to be made. Exactly. You could probably make some money on more and more of these prospect paper base than some of the flawless autographs. No offense, you know, but it's just the way it is. Nolan Jones, and until people realize it, then. You know, if they made a Bowman Baseball HTA, though, like they do Bowman Chrome, I think a lot of people would love that, though. Imagine they did that. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right there. I know. We go through nine innings doing this. And Cantillo, Cantilla, first for the Padres. Yeah, right, we get a couple base hits, maybe a double, a triple, and then when we get that big autograph, it's just, it's just a home run. Potentially grand slam, if you get the right ones. So it kind of is watching like a baseball game. All right, last box, guys. Good luck. Are they talking about Bowman Transcendent? Who is Mike? Is that even a real thing? Is that something I have to think about? That's 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 crazy. I don't know how you can make Broman transcend. What, are you going to put a frame around this? <laughs> Yamamoto, rookie of the year favorites. Rookie for the Marlins. Going to chance. Like discussed like in tops or discussed like just with customers? That's something crazy to think about. And would it sell well? Is that's the question. And I think it would, right? People love Bowman. Oh, are they really wrong? to basketball and some football lately so I guess I haven't really kept up with baseball that is something AJ Puck rookie autograph to four ninety nine. dollars uh, athletics that's going to uh, John box should have at least one more auto on this side unless it's two I don't remember if I put two yet Saving our boys <laughs> and girls. Does Tops know what we're going through right now? Aidman. Tops is like, you know, we got we got just one sport, which is baseball, but we're just going to, like, kill it. We're just going to kill it. And Bramer. 
Washington Nationals. Uh, yeah, there'll be some personals today again on Instagram at Jaspies Breaks, but those won't start till three o'clock. So Pacific, so um, you're looking around what six hours from now. And again, depending if we get all of our shipment in today, we should have a plenty of personals to go around. Um, so we're just hoping that that goes through and happens. Oh, well, I know. Should we buy some Bowman dollars? Like, remember when Disney... Does Disney still do those Disney dollars? Those are so cool. We might as well just buy Topps dollars. Like, Bowman dollars to use... <laughs> I remember I don't know if Disney still does that but that was so cool alright guys there you go random team jumbo in the books for number two and I finished this one in yeah under under an hour 55 minutes so again, all the paper of the rookies that we're sending with Dominguez and Witt, all the color and the chromes, of course. So all that will be sent. So unfortunately, again, no Yankee autographs, at least of Dominguez, although Yankees did do pretty well with other prospects. But a lot of Dominguez chrome and papers coming your way, Oliver. Um, so there you go. You got all that there. As you can see, a ton of it, which is going to add up. And then, of course, here are the autos. So, Bramer, Puck, Yamamoto to 150, Cantillo, Ball, Dillard, Shimmer to 50, Estevez, De La Cruz, Perea, Feliciano, Valera, Jones, Little, Alvarez, Paper, per, uh, Numbered, Amaya, Dominguez, Little Chrome, Hall, Dibrell to 51st, Gold, Logan Allen Atomic, Rookie, Rutledge, Velope, Huff, Delgado, Patino, Twice in a Refractor, and Genrod. Genord, sorry. So there you go, guys. Bowman Random Teams number two, Jumbo in the books. Coming up next is Pick Your Teams number one of Jumbo. Stay tuned, guys. Appreciate it.